Surprise! Apple sets May 7th event to launch new iPad Pro and iPad Air. I don't know how many of you all have uh, have heard this story or saw the invite, but the event is May 7th. Uh, TC is personally calling it Let Loose. Should I bring this up? Did it work? Oh! Here it is, the Apple May 7th event. Look at that invite. For those of you listening, it's like a rainbow sketch of an apple with a hand. And what is that holding? Some kind of pointing device. It's a, it's a new Apple stylus of some kind. That thing that Steve Jobs said they'd never make. There it is. And it's going to make you rethink the stylus. So at least we know that we're getting an all new. Well, I guess actually we don't know if we're getting an all new Apple pencil. They might just keep the old pencil. This just might be a person drawing with the old pencil on new iPads. I guess we actually don't know. But we do uh, kind of know that this is going to be <laughs> a event revolving around iPads, at least thanks to that, that beautiful invite. So uh, here's what we know. I'm going to just start reading from the story here because there's a lot. Tuesday's official invitation doesn't use the word iPad, but there's an Apple pencil on it. Yeah, we know. Um, only, or as Apple tablets are the only devices that support. Yes, okay, I'm reading this because I just said it. Many leaks point to a 2024 iPad Pro that will be the first with an OLED <clears throat> uh, display, which, of course, is going to be a huge move forward for iPad uh, I think the displays already look beautiful, but but OLED is just in a whole new category on its own. Hopefully, it's um, it's it's the new kind of OLED uh, that they're putting in um, some Sony televisions, which use a different kind of backlight and filter that goes over the backlight that makes color saturation much better than regular OLEDs and the kinds that LG are still using, but. Time will tell on that. So that should be a huge improvement for, for display fidelity, color saturation, and uh, contrast ratio, ratio especially. I'm a little curious to see how bright the screens will get because OLEDs are not known for getting really bright. But then I was thinking about it this morning and I was like, well, my Apple Watch gets really bright. And so does... And I have the, the Apple Watch Ultra first generation. And obviously the second generation, I think it's the 2000 nits, which is, which was, which is insanely bright. Like... That, like Bright enough that you could see it easily even outdoors. So I'm going to guess that that probably uh, won't be a problem. Uh, let's see here. Also supposedly coming uh, soon is the first 12.9-inch iPad Air, which we've talked a lot about in the past. Um, the previous largest version was um, the 10.9-inch. but So now we're going to have two iPad Air models, which will be cool. Both tablets are expected to use the M3 processor. Duh. Uh, let's see here. The Apple or the stylus prominently, I can't believe we're using that word. The stylus prominently in the in, <laughs> used in the invite has a second meaning too. This one more obvious. Multiple leaks indicate that a replacement for Apple Pencil 2 is imminent along with the new Apple models. I hope so because I think I may need an Apple Pencil or may need a new one because my old one, well, I've had it for many, many years and the battery is kind of starting to not last very long and you can't replace it without um, an X-Acto knife. Lots of patience, and uh, and probably then you would just break it. Apple Pencil Three will reportedly include f report for Find My Dude. That would be cool, which obviously means that you could find it um, using the Find My app, potentially with an Audible alert. Dude, I don't know, Griffin. I don't feel like an Audible alert is in our future for the pencil. Yeah, I, I guess think they would have to put a tiny little speaker inside of it, and it's just such. It's so narrow. I don't know how it would fit. Yeah, I, I find that happen. one dubious, but boy, I, I would love to have the the speaker built in to my AirPods. I would, because I have the regular AirPods, the Gen 3, and I would also love it to have, and I think the one, absolutely the one accessory that absolutely needs to find my speaker built in is the Apple TV remote. Mm 